In this video, we're going to create a Bitbucket project and then a repository. In Bitbucket, a project is a container for one or more repositories. And a repository is a place for developers to check in code. So let's start by creating a project. If you navigate to your Bitbucket homepage, server name colon 7990 in this case, you'll get redirected to the project's homepage. And as you can see, there are no projects yet. So create, click the Create Project button. And the Create a Project screen comes up and we'll give it a project name, which is usually named after a company or a business unit of some kind. So I'll just name it after uh, my corporation, Nifty Corp. And then click Create Project. Now the project has been created, now we can create a repository so that our developers can check in code. So I'll click on this Create Repository button and I'll give it a name and this will be the Nifty API project code and click Create Repository. Great, so now we have our project and our first repository. Now we need to set up users and groups so that developers can check in code. We'll follow the best practice of creating a user, representing our developer in this case, adding that user to a group, and then assigning repository permissions to that group. So let's create our user. If we go to this gear icon in the top right, and we get to the administration page, and we'll click users, and then we'll click create user. And this user will be our developer, I'll just name it after myself. And email is not needed for this tutorial, so I can just enter some bogus email and give it a password. Click create user, and there a user has been created. So now let's add this user to a group. So if I click the Groups button here on the left, and then click Create Group, we'll call this Group API Devs. Cool. And so now I can add a user by typing in the username in the search box and selecting my developer and then clicking add. So now we have our developer as a member of the API devs group. So now we can add the group to the repository and set permissions. And then all the developers in this group will have permissions. Much easier to manage than individual permissions. Now let's go to repositories and select the Nifty API repo. Then click the settings icon here on the left and then we'll go to repository permissions. And then we'll add the group we just created. And give it read and write permissions, as you can see there. So now our developer will have the ability to check in code, modify it, check it in. So now let's see that in action.